Hey, what's going on guys? ZTA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, we're gonna be talking about easy OBS integration with LaunchBox 11 or higher. Now, this is actually really easy to set up and it's gonna allow you to record gameplay with pretty much any emulator in LaunchBox or BigBox. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough on how to set this up with LaunchBox 11 or higher. So the very first thing we need to do from within LaunchBox is head up to the drop-down menu. We're gonna to go to Tools and Options. From here, we have a new option for OBS Studio, and we can download OBS right here. We're going to go ahead and download it. It's going to open up a web browser for us. I'm going to grab the version for Windows, and we need to go ahead and install it. I'm just going to click on it right here. It's going to walk us through the OBS Studio setup, and we're going to go ahead and launch OBS Studio because there's a few settings we need to mess around with. Choose Finish. And it's going to give us a little auto configuration wizard. I recommend using this. So I'm going to go ahead and choose yes. We want to optimize for recording because that's what we're going to be doing with the launch box and big box. Next. Now the base resolution of my monitor here is 1920. If you're using a 4K monitor, it might default to 4K, but you can choose a lower resolution if you want to. I would recommend sticking with what your monitor is capable of doing. 1920 by 1080. For the FPS, I just leave it here, either 60 or 30, but it's going to prefer 60 when possible. Choose Next. And if we take a look right here, Recording Encoder, mine is set to Hardware, NVENC. I have an NVIDIA GPU, so it defaulted to that hardware right there. It'll do the same for AMD. If you don't have any acceleration, it might be software, but it will detect it in here for us. This is going to give us some pretty basic settings that work really well with your specific system. I'm going to choose Apply Settings. So we have OBS running, but it's just a black screen, as you can see. We need to add a video source. So from Sources, we're going to choose the plus symbol. Display Capture. You can name this anything you'd like. I'm just going to leave it at Display Capture. Choose OK. And now it's going to record my screen. Like I mentioned, make sure you have the correct resolution chosen. Mine's 1920 by 1080. You can also capture the cursor, or you can hide it if you'd like to. I usually leave this on because when I'm playing a game, I'm just using a controller anyway. Choose OK. And now we have our source chosen, which is our monitor. As you can see, we got that weird tunnel effect going on. Now we need to set up a hotkey. So from within OBS, we're going to go to Settings, Hotkeys, and we want to start and stop recording. Unfortunately, this will not work with a controller or an arcade stick. Hopefully that changes in the future, but right now I usually set mine to F12. So I'm going to start recording with F12, and I'm also going to stop recording with F12. So the first time I push it, it's going to start my recording. I can stop it by pushing it again. You can set this to a different hotkey if you like to, but this is how I personally use it. Choose Apply, OK, and we can now minimize or we can even just shut down OBS. Back to the LaunchBox options, we're still in the OBS Studio section. Very first one here, automatically add OBS Studio recordings to LaunchBox games. I'm going to make sure this is checked. In our OBS Studio Video Recordings folder, we'll choose Browse, and it defaults to your Videos folder on your Windows machine. I'm going to select Folder. Next, make sure OBS Studio is running before launching a game. This will automatically start OBS Studio for us and make sure it's running so we can properly record our gameplay. Make sure this is checked. And now we need to tell LaunchBox where OBS is located and how to start it. We're going to find the EXE or the executable path. Choose Browse. And it should be on your local disk, Program Files, and you'll find OBS Studio. From within here, we're going to go to bin, 64-bit, and obs64.exe. This is how we start up OBS. We're going to choose OK, and we're now actually ready to start recording. So I'm going to go ahead and launch a Genesis game. This is going to be Altered Beast. We'll just start it up here from within LaunchBox. So since we've set up the correct paths for OBS inside of LaunchBox, it's automatically going to start OBS in the background when we start our game. Now it's not recording yet because we haven't hit our hotkey, and I like to get into a little bit of gameplay first. So I'll press F12, which is my record hotkey that I set up manually. I'll 
play for a little bit here. It's now recording in the background. And if I press F12 again, it's going to stop that recording. Now I have my whole system set up to pressing start and select on my controller to enter the pause menu. I'll go to exit game. And LaunchBox is actually going to prompt me if I want to associate that video we just recorded with that specific game, which was Altered Beast. I'm going to choose yes. And now that video I just recorded is actually associated with this game. If I right click, go to edit videos, you can see we have that video right here. I can play the video or we can just head over to our video section on our PC and this is the recording. I'm going to go ahead and play it from here though. And that's exactly what I just recorded with OBS and LaunchBox. So the integration is here and it's pretty simple to set up as you saw with this video. So overall, we really do hope you enjoy the integration of OBS with LaunchBox. When it's set up correctly, the only thing you need to do is start a game, press your hotkey, and you're going to start recording from there. But that's pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.